just going back, taking back to your early days, a little fun here. Tell us what was your favorite school lunch when you were elementary school, Ooh, high school? Man, when I lived in Oxnard, they used to have these burrito days, these breakfast burritos. Oh what? gosh, they were fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Even, I don't even know. If the, I don't know if those person pulled up. You know, like, like in a taco truck or what. But oh, I just remember what? eating those burritos, man. This that's Ooh. killer salsa. Oh, I guess you sent us some. I don't think we ever had. Did you remember burritos in Fresno? Uh, a little bit. The chimichangas, but yeah. Oh, okay. Not, 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 okay. Okay. No, it was those breakfast. Yeah. Hey, those wow. breakfast burritos were fire, bro. Okay. Okay. And now, what what favorite worship song is just. On your, what's your favorite one right now on this season? I'm, I went all for love. I went to way back to Hillsong 06, I believe it was. Okay. On the uh, Look to You album right now. I've okay. been blasting all for love. Don't ask me why. Before that, it was wow. gratitude. Okay. Then I went back to a mm. Your Love is Strong. Just had a moment with the Lord in Omaha a few, mm. few months ago. And before that, it was Fresh Wind. So before that was uh, Give You My Heart. So but Lord, you can have my heart. So I, I just okay. keep, I'm just, but yeah, I found, nice. I found the Look to You album again. And I was like. Nice. I fell in love all over again. This yeah, is good. amazing album. Yeah. yeah. And what is it you like to play when you work out? Yes. Oh, when I'm working out, that's random. Every day is random. Okay. Uh, some some days, um, some days I'll do like so. I have uh, iHeartRadio. Yeah. So some days I'll put on like the Eagles, mm. and so like I'll just do like soft rock. Nice. Uh, other days uh, I'll put on like I have a um, social Mifit social Mifit. <laughs> I can't spit that out. <laughs> yep. Social Mif uh, Misfits. misfits. Yep. On my iHeart, I don't know. It just was not coming out for some reason. But I got their mm -hmm. playlist. I got Andy Minio's playlist. And then sometimes I go old hip hop, you know. Okay. So I got like a 90s one on there, or 90s, 90s R&B. Yeah. So 90s R&B. Yeah. But then I know your listeners probably will find this one funny. But like, I'll do like some like Emery. So that's like some Screamo. Oh, and like if I'm not okay. if I'm not all the way awake, all like right. I'll do some old school Screamo. Like yeah. I'm good. Taking Back Sunday, Emery. Okay. So anyway. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm random like that. Like, mm. I like that variety. Okay. Now, I know you like to work in the yard, do certain things, yep. uh, plants. But what is it? It has to be. What chore do you absolutely hate doing? Ooh. Chore do I? I, I don't I, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's a chore. I, actually, mm. I don't know. That's great. I don't know. Oh, I, really? I, I was raised by my mom. I, there was never there was nothing I couldn't hate to do. She said, I mean, Mijo, she, go take out the trash. Like, no, okay. she did it all. Okay. She did a lot of it, but but I guess because I didn't have to really do it, I didn't end up hating it. Okay. Mm. I guess. Oh. So that's yeah. the first time. That's, a, that's I'm stumped. Which, okay. which 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 chore at home gets the most resistance? No, it's not uh, my turn. No, it's not. I, don't I would know. say dishes. Oh uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah Everybody wants mine. to eat. Nobody wants to clean. Oh wow. That's good. Now, uh, just really quick here, if you had to, uh, you could learn any to do anything. What would it be? Learn to do anything. Skill. Oh, good lord, good lord, that's brutal, bro. That one's brutal. If I could learn to do anything, like like how how easy, like like super easy, or it just like anything. like Matrix plugged into my brain it, and there today. Oh, there it is. Anything, just a skill. You got it. Mm. Any instrument. Any instrument. Nice. Oh, any. Uh, okay. I want to be able to walk up to the keys, tickle them. I want to oh be able to go goodness. up to the drums okay. and just yeah. the bass, the guitar, Maybe. even the saxophone. No. Nothing goes good like a good saxophone. No. Like, man, that just. No. Yeah. All right. There and you if you could choose anyone, this is great to ask a leader here. <laughs> if you could choose anyone, who would you pick as a mentor? It could be historical. Past, yeah. Historical. <sighs> yeah. Okay, everybody's gonna expect me to say a Bible thing, so That's I'm not right. gonna say a Bible right. thing. No, no, I'm not gonna say a Bible answers. thing. I'm not gonna say Bible because everybody's gonna expect the Bible. If I could pick any one person as any one person, any one person as a mentor, any one person as a mentor, uh, I'd go Victor Frankel or Stephen Covey, hmm. Hmm. two leadership guys, or yes. or Peter Drucker. Oh, nice. Yeah, I definitely yes. go a leadership guy because when a leader gets better, the whole organization gets That's better. So good. Nice. Okay. Uh, what that would, was hard. What would you name the autobiography of your life? I just said yes. Oh, okay. Now, you're not known for this that I've, I've seen. So uh, what was the last movie or show that made you tear up or cry? Last, last movie that made me tear up or cry. I, you know, with COVID, I don't know that I've been to the movies a lot. It could be at home. Yeah, that's watch, the, yeah. That, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, yeah. well, the, remember there was like no movies that mm, came out. Uh, okay. So this is this is getting a little hard. But yeah. but but I don't mind crying at movies. 
Like that don't that don't bother me. Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. I'm just trying to think which movie because I, I haven't seen a lot of them. That's been that's hmm. been the problem, okay. right? But um, but but I'm sure I cried. I, I just don't I don't know. Okay. I, I, I because like I said, I, I just don't think there's been a lot of movies out. And point you more comedy that laughs so hard you cry. No, oh ah, gosh, okay. Mo Amir is hilarious. I know. Oh, okay. I saw the uh, he he's Arab. He's uh-huh. Palestinian. My best friend's Palestinian. He's okay. Arab too. Yeah. And so he has this show, um, like a little, and I know people are going to give you flack for this. I know it's not a Christian show and I know there's cussing. Okay. But I need to laugh. So his show on Netflix, (laughs) he just kills me. Cause my, remember my best friend's Arab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like all these little things they do, I get it. Yeah. Like I I know what he, I know what the reverence is. So I'm like laughing my butt off. Like one day, one day just Mandy, Mandy heard me laughing so hard. Like I was on the ground, like I had a cramp because I was laughing so hard. And she goes, what is so funny? And so I told her a joke. She didn't laugh half as hard. Oh I'm my like, God. So I called my best friend. I'm like, bro. And I'm still laughing. And I tell him the joke and he starts dying laughing. <laughs> so we're both on the phone, not even talking. We're just laughing to each other. Like this is hilarious. And so anyway, that, that one right there, I'm not going to lie. Like yeah. I could watch the whole sitcom again. Oh, like that's wow. how much I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Last two. Uh, what was the best advice you ever received? Um, I don't know that I can sum that up. Best advice that I've ever received. Best advice. Best advice. I, I, you know, to me, I just, just don't quit. Own it. Just don't quit. Even if you screw up, just own it. Don't people, people always respect the person who owns it. Nice. I mean, people are so forgiving. A lot of people talk about people who are unforgiving. So many people are forgiving if you just owned it. Yeah, man. And, and I mean, really own it. Look at me now. Dude, I did this. Yeah, right. It's wrong. I apologize. And I'll do my best never to do that again. Mm, yeah. And then just let's move on. And if they can't move on, you still got to move on. All right. Last one. <sighs> Very spiritual one. LeBron mm. or Michael Jordan? Don't even... Everybody who knows me knows I'm not a LeBron fan. Mm. It's my, it's, it's MJ's the goat. Everybody okay. knows this. It's not, listen, I don't even debate it. Mm-hmm. I don't even debate it. Michael never built a team, never joined a team. And okay. had he not, had he not done his baseball hiatus, it'd have been eight rings in a row. Yeah. Everybody knows that. It, it wouldn't even, you can't even call that a dynasty. Yeah. That's not even a dynasty. It's not even a legacy. He uh, is the NBA. No uh, Mike, no NBA. Bottom line. But Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. Oh, still Mike. Okay. And, and by the way, it goes Mike, yeah. Kobe, and LeBron, like yes, somewhere sir. in top 10, somewhere, maybe okay, eight or nine, sir. maybe 10. All right. But by the way, I will say this to all the LeBron fans before they at you or at me. <laughs> I've never seen a greater physical specimen. He's okay. 6'10, y'all. Nobody yeah. needs to forget this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's 6'10. You, you, I don't know that we will see another physical specimen like that. Yeah. At 6'10, that agile. By the way, before three years ago, that healthy. Yeah. LeBron's never missed a lot of time. Yeah. Now they'll do that. He's resting. Well, it's a long season. It was 72 games, right? So mm-hmm. but I'm saying, think about that. Physical specimen. The guy could have played about three different sports. Yeah. Football. You gotta be a little tougher, but football, basketball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he, and the yeah. dude probably could have played men's volleyball. Man. Who, who won't jump with him? Yeah. <laughs> like that's yeah. gotta be unfair. Yeah. But you yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. he, he low key could have done. Yeah. You know, probably any sport he wanted to. So, yeah, a little harder at six ten. But Aaron Judge making it work in baseball. But I mean, a little harder. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lodo. Hey, man. No, Pastor Anthony, thank you again, man. As far as the emails go, don't worry about it. You can. Everybody can email. Just know we email back. We write back. You know, <laughs> you can throw the rocks. Just know we'll throw them back. You know. Uh, but Pastor Anthony, thank you. It's been a pleasure. It's been a blessing. And I want you to know, man. As far as overflow goes, whatever uh, adventures, you know, whatever traverses you go through, we got your back, brother. Thank you, sir. And thank you for standing firm for the gospel, and thank you for letting us stand firm with you. Much love. Thanks for having me. Thanks for those videos and those audios. I appreciate it, man. Bless you.